who's getting the better deal. Okay. I have a feeling y'all in the UK getting a better deal. I just got a feeling. I feel like it's so high in America. USA. This hamburger costs nine dollars and twelve cents. Nine dollars for a hamburger, baby. Y'all remember when it used to be a dollar, two, three dollars, a dollar seventy-five. <laughs> that is way too much money for this burger. Way too much. I mean, and that's why y'all got to be generous with them fries. They, I mean, some got to be pushing through the business. Yeah, I was ready. They didn't have my back. They were petty. I stayed in my back. On their petty, I brought it right back. Back of it. Shout out to the UK, your favorite Americans back, man. Today we checking out a banger. Hold on, man. We checking out the banger. Let me make sure I look good on screen. Let me make sure I look good. Got the banger today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My grandma fat. <laughs> My auntie don't got no knees. <laughs> but today we got that banger, man. We got that banger for real. We're going to Five Guys today. Now, I don't know y'all got it. Comment down below in the UK if y'all got that grilled cheese burger. Ooh. Ooh, you eat, that, you eat that burger right there, you go straight to bed. You going straight to sleep. Five guys make this grilled cheese burger. I mean, it's like a burger, but it's like a grilled cheese as well. But it's a burger, though. Man, I be getting, boom. Well, I just had two of those day before yesterday. But five guys go crazy though. Let's see if it, comment down below if five guys go crazy in the UK, man. If y'all rock with five guys in the UK, comment down below. But let's check it out. Roll to 100K. Keep hitting that subscribe button. Keep requesting more videos. Today we got food wars. Let's go crazy. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between five guys in the UK and the US. This is food wars. And one thing about the US. Is, is y'all shake machine uh, consistent in the, in the in the UK? Cause it's like a lot of Five Guys in the US don't do shakes. Like you have to go to the right Five Guys to get a milkshake. I don't know if it's like that in the UK, but comment down below, bro. Burgers from a UK Five Guys come in two sizes. Five Guys in the US also has two burger captions. sizes. Turn Firstly, we have captions. the little, which is just one patty, and the regular, which is. Two, Two patties. Now our patties are supposed to be lighter than the US patties and should weigh 67 grams. We're going to weigh one and find out if that's accurate. So this patty actually weighed 52 grams, which is 15 grams less than what we're supposed to get. According to the US Five Guys website, they say that one of the patties should weigh 94 grams or about 3.3 ounces. We will weigh a hamburger patty. The US Five Guys has about 52, 53 grams. It looks like our patties weigh just about the same as the ones in the UK. We're not sure if they measure it before or after cooking. Maybe it's before. They, they, sometimes they be drunk when they be doing these calculations. That's how it is. Or and then some of the liquid leaves as it cooks. But either way, it's not quite what we're expecting. This right here is a hot dog from a US Five Guys. And before Y'all comment down below. <laughs> Y'all rock with them glizzies. Y'all eat them glizzies in uh in the UK. <laughs> Y'all eat them glizzy boys. That long hot I mean, ain't gonna lie, if you put the right stuff on it and like I'm not gonna lie. You might catch Rick at uh Five Guys eating the glizzy. Yeah, eating that glizzy, that long glizzy, that thick glizzy. If you put the right stuff on it now. Or I measure it. What in the heck is this? Did you know this? They cut the hot dog in half? Yeah, they cut it in half, I hate yeah. that they cut this in half. Cursed image. Okay, how long is this monstrosity? Six and one fourth inches for the hot dog. So a hot dog from a UK Five Guys is about six inches in length. Now like the burgers, this has six an Six inches? Weight, and it should weigh 150. That's what she said. She said, all I need is six inches. 46 grams if the website's ingredients information is correct. But ours actually weighs 154 grams, so we're actually getting more than expected. Okay, let's Why weigh this thing like before that. throw it in the ocean. We're about a hair over 150. Okay. I want to talk to one of the five guys. Get me guy number three or four. I don't get I don't <laughs> care. I demand to know what is going on with these hot dogs. 
hot dog. Five Guys chocolate milkshake in the US. I believe it's 12 ounces. Let's see what it actually is here. Come on now, man. What, come on, what this is, five? Oh, man. Y'all got that hot breath? There's people that got that hot breath. I got that hot breath, bro. This one's a little bit more. Ooh, a little bit more melted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. That's way more than 12, buddy. That's way more than 12. It is just over 450 milliliters, almost 16 ounces. This is a milkshake from a UK Five Guys. We're going to measure it to find out how much you get. Oh, look how thick that is. Yes. I want it. Now the UK portion size is advertised as 454 milliliters. We've got just over 400 here. If we scraped around the side, we could probably get a few more in there as well. Now Five Guys in the UK is notorious for overfilling its fry portions. We also get three sizes, little, regular, and large. I wonder how they record these videos. You ever thought about how they record? Like, so it's, it's what's the name in the US and what's the name in the UK? I just be sitting here thinking like, golly, how do they actually get the, they must be recording from the same studio in different locations. We ordered all three and they came in one bag and here's what we got. Little fries. Regular fries. Large fries. And this is the rest of the bag. Yeah, the rest of the bag, they gonna, yeah, yeah. That's why Five Guys will forever be legendary. Even though they, the prices is ridiculous right now and it costs $20 for one meal. <laughs> But they do throw them extra fries in the bag. Oh, yeah. They do throw the extra fries in the bag. All the real ones know. Now, we're not sure which of these fries belongs to which of these portions, so we're going to try and figure it out. In the U.S., we also have three sizes of fries at the Five Guys. The small. Yeah, they got to be at a different location because it's two different tables. Uh, the regular. The large. And yes, so many more fries in the bag all in all five guys is very generous with the fries very generous i mean I got very generous people i love five guy people we are already spending 30 dollars on one hamburger come on baby <laughs> i guess i'll start by filling each cup and then try and portion this into like vague threes i guess Yes, that, that sounds right. I don't know if it is, but I'm just gonna follow Harry's lead on this one. So this is roughly what we think would go with each of the portions. Now in the UK, a regular fries is supposed to weigh 414 grams. We're gonna weigh the cup and then also the extras to see if what you get really is a bonus or if it actually all adds up to the supposed total. 165. So first we'll do the scale, right? So this is supposed to be 411 grams. Let's see what 411 we grams. What is this, 170? Woof, guys, that's not even close. So our regular cup of fries actually only contained 165 grams, which is less than half of what you're supposed to get. We're gonna weigh the rest of the fries to see if that makes up the difference. So even with all the bag fries, which we assigned to the regular portion, we're still only looking at 276 grams, which is well below the portion size you're supposed to be getting for a regular. Mm. Excellent idea, Harry, I will do the same. Now we are up to 275. Still not even, it's supposed to be 411? So it looks like we've been a bit shortchanged on the fries. Because it was all given to us in one big bag, it's hard to tell which portion. It can't never be accurate, man. Let's move on to this. We can't, it ain't never gonna be accurate, man. These fries are gonna be accurate. The large and the little. So they gave us 851 grams of fries total. They're supposed to give us 1,225. You know, Siri, Siri wrong as hell. You're getting more than you should be. Whereas in reality, if you measure it all, you're actually maybe getting I mean, let's go to prices. See who's getting the better deal. Okay. Let's compare. Let's go to prices. Prices. I need to see prices now. Let's compare the prices. This is ridiculous. Five guys and see who's getting the better deal. Okay. I have a feeling y'all in the UK getting the better deal. I just got a feeling. I feel like it's so high in America. USA. This hamburger costs $9.12. $9. What a hamburger, baby. Y'all remember when it used to be a dollar, two, three dollars? A dollar seventy-five. <laughs> that is way too much money for this burger. Way too much. I mean, and that's why y'all gotta be generous with them fries. They, I mean, some gotta be pushing through the business. 
A hamburger from a UK Five Guys will cost you £6.95, which is equivalent to $9.20. The prices do seem similar, but it's actually- Oh, y'all, we all getting gypped. We all getting gypped. Per gram, 26% less in the US than it is in the UK. What about the fries? Well, in the UK, a large fries is £5.25, which comes to $6.95. In the US, our Five Guys large after tax is $7.06. Oh, I told you. A little cheaper. I mean, a little cheaper in the UK. With a US accent. You must be joking. If you do the maths for the fries, it turns out that the US is getting a better deal, but only fractionally. You guys get like 1% more value for your money when it comes to the large fries, so not too mad about that one. A big draw is that when you're in Five Guys, they have just crates open with peanuts. With peanuts? Oh yeah, them peanuts be sitting out. Oh, them goddamn peanuts be sitting out. When you're waiting for your food, you can just scoop some peanuts and just like crack the shells open. What do you even mean? So if you go in the store and you wait, you can eat like, uh, you can peel and eat peanuts and what, throw the shells on the floor? Like it's a saloon in the 1800s? Who cares? <laughs> Especially if you're going there to eat, let me fill up in these cheap peanuts before I get this ridiculously priced food. Unbelievable. Compared to some of the places that we've reviewed on this show before, Five Guys is a more expensive option, but I mean, particularly in the UK, I don't feel too mad about paying a bit more for a Five Guys than I might do for a meal at McDonald's. It's just more of a treat, but it does feel a bit more exotic. They've branded themselves as a kind of like American import. Americans know their way around a burger sort of thing. So if- Five guys. The hot dog is ridiculous. I don't care about peanuts. This stuff is way overpriced. Forget it. Yeah, for the same way. Do y'all feel like it's way uh, ridiculous, overpriced? Comment down below, do you still eat at Five Guys? I need, to, I need to hear some people in the comments right now. Nutrition, oh Lord. Let's take a look at the calories of the Five Guys cheeseburger. This has two patties, two slices of cheese, and a bun, and the total calories is 984. Ooh. What about a UK cheeseburger? Well, this one comes to 756 calories. Man, what the hell y'all put? What the hell we, is, I told you, America, we, they be trying to kill us around here, bro. I'm finna get mad and click off the video. They be, they be trying to kill us. All these calories. Which is more than 200 calories less than the US burger. Golly. This burger doesn't just have more calories either. It's got pretty much more of everything else. It's got more fat, saturated. Unbelievable. They trying to kill off the population in the UK, in the US. Five Guys is trying to kill off the population in the US. Unbelievable. And sodium than a cheeseburger in the UK. In the UK, if they actually give you what's advertised on the website, a large portion of fries is a hefty 1,491 calories. Golly. Despite that, we still somehow end up with less sodium. Our large fry in the US is 1,314 calories. I also want to point out our fries come in lower than the UK in terms of fat content as well as saturates. Oh wow, so I mean, it's like a, 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 it's like the US and the UK throwing hands with each other at this point, like back and forth. And finally, we have the drinks. This chocolate shake out of Five Guys in the U.S. is 830 calories. A chocolate shake in the U.K. comes to slightly more at 891 calories. Oh, in the U.K., y'all killing people over there in the U.K. <laughs> so what if we combine all three into a meal? So a plain cheeseburger, regular fries, and a chocolate shake from Five Guys in the U.S. totals at 2,767 calories. Yo, dog! Also, I think this is about $70. <laughs> the same meal in the U.K. $70. Unbelievable. Okay. Well, that comes to a total of 2,769 calories, two calories more than in the US. The differences between the burger and the fries effectively cancel each other out. Hey, I just you. Come on, I gotta mute that, bro. I ain't trying to get copyrighted, bro. Y'all are tripping. Let's start with the basics. Here's everything in a hamburger patty from a UK Five Guys. Ground beef. Here in the US, our burger patty is made up of ground beef. If you prefer to add cheese to your burger, here's what's in the cheese in the UK. Cheddar cheese, water, butter, cheese, milk proteins, whey powder, emulsifying salt, trisodium citrate, natural cheese flavoring, salt, lactic acid, sorbic acid, beta carotene, paprika Damn. extract, and sunflower lecithin. Five Guys cheese here in the US is made up of milk, whey, milk fat, milk protein concentrate, salt, calcium phosphate, sodium citrate, whey protein concentrate, sodium phosphate, sorbic acid, apicola tentol, what? 
apocarotenol. Apocarotenol. Oh, he he don't know what the hell going on. We got so much stuff in the in the in the cheese. It's ridiculous. Let me go and skip all this. I don't want to see all this. It's ridiculous. Burger buns are also. Wait, hold on. We vitamin D three. We got vitamin D three though. Oh yeah. And cheese, wheat flour, water, sugar, vegetable fat, milk, soy flour, and salt. Or neutralization. I don't even know, but the reason they do it is to give it a better shelf life and a more uniform taste. This has been the greasiest Food Wars I've ever done. So they are very generous with the peanut oil on the fries and pretty much everything else. There are a few things to watch out for on the menu at Five Guys. For example, the pickles in the US. In the US, the pickles contain a food coloring called yellow five or tartrazine. If this is added to foods in the European Union, they have to have a warning saying that they might cause hyperactivity in children. Yes. What the hell? Yes, our pickles have a bunch of junk in it. So does the relish. Specifically, it is made up of cucumbers, corn syrup, water, high fructose corn syrup, uh, vinegar, salt, xanthan gum. 0.1% of sodium benzenate as a preservative, calcium chloride, alum, natural fat. Here is everything you can only find on the menu at a UK Five Guys. And here are all the exclusive Five Guys menu items in the US. Let's start with the burger. There's only one option in the UK that you won't be able to find in the US, and that is HP sauce. I won't go into too much detail in case Joe. Oh, I got a different sauce in the UK. Accuses me of Brit splaining again, but for those who don't know, HP sauce is like a. The only customization in the US that you can't get in the UK is actually something that everyone in the United States knows exactly what I'm talking about, and that is A1 steak sauce. A1 steak sauce, that's right. Yeah, you can't get that in the UK. You got that A1, daddy. Uh, it looks a lot like the HP brown sauce, but it is not. It doesn't taste anything like it. It is uh, the most popular steak sauce. E1, it's how steak. Oh, hell. Off biscuits, which are those little caramel flavored cookies which you get on the side of a tea or coffee. Then we have three dessert shake options, which are milkshakes flavored with things which kind of combine to replicate famous desserts. So here we have a Millionaire shortbread milkshake. Oh wow! See, I got the exclusive. Here we have a banoffee pie milkshake. Yeah, I got the exclusive shakes in the UK. And here we have a strawberry cheesecake milkshake. Now, for the last thing, the only shake you can get in the US that you can't get in the UK is this: it is a Oreo. Listen to me when I say it. Let me finish before you start typing. An Oreo double stuff milkshake. Yes, you guys have the Oreo shake there. I think you also have an Oreo cream shake there too, but this is the only Oreo double stuff. Yeah, you shake. can't get that double stuff in the, in the UK. If you don't have Oreo double stuff in the UK, they're what they sound like, Oreos with twice as much filling. This is the last thing we're shooting today, and I've been waiting for this all day. Holy shit, this is so good. <laughs> guys, I'm not playing. This might have turned the tides and how I feel about five guys. I'm not kidding. This is so good. I'm finishing this. I don't care how sick it makes me. I'm drinking it. And last but by no means least, in the UK, you can wash your burgers down with a range of beers. Cheers. Yeah, well, they don't serve beer at our five guys, but I brought my own. Cheers, my man. Ah, it is very warm. It's a hat. It has oh, hell. <sighs> Comment down below if you're still eating at Five Guys. What y'all be getting from Five Guys? And y'all, let me know if anybody has tried that grilled cheese burger. And do they make another grilled cheese burger just came out down here? Well, it just got it just got famous down here due to TikTok. So comment down below if they have the grilled cheese burger in UK and if you guys had it for the people that's the US watchers. But yeah, man. Shout out to Five Guys. Shout out to Food Wars. Another banger video today, y'all. Y'all know the vibes, man. Join the play, join the game, roll to 100 k baby. Send that next reaction. And which Food Wars videos would you like me to react to next? Comment down below, baby, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.